Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have Stefan Chikovic with the T8 American um, Premium Heavy Tank. It is the Renegade, the M54 Renegade, which is kind of like <clears throat> one of the weaker uh, heavy premiums, I'd say, because of the armor. So why is the armor so bad, in my opinion? Uh, by the way, two marks, maybe going for the third mark. We're going to have to wait and see. Well, it's because of this huge capone on top of your vehicle. This is penned by everything. It's like 180 to 190 uh, millimeters of effective armor. And you also have awful hull armor. Like, it's not just the lower plate, it's the upper hull as well, which is very weak, like 200-ish on most areas um, of effective armor. So, yeah, <clears throat> definitely not an impressive vehicle armor-wise. It does have a decent gun. Um with um, a very healthy amount of gold rounds. <laughs> 255 millimeters of APC up and then one into the Shara melee that do 360 damage on average. Um, the regular rounds, 226. I mean, it's not a huge difference, uh, but when you do go for those three marks, you do want to have the highest chance possible to, um, to get as much damage as you can get, right? Anyway, anyway, Stefan is going to go with Improved hardening with some uh, bounty rammer and some bounty vert stabs. Get the accuracy, get the DPM up, and just be able to put a one into the SUPM as well. There we go. Two shots in, and I'm trying to go hull down, even like I said, even when you do go hull down with this vehicle, it is still, it's still like, not the best. Into the Capona, maybe the Tiger 2, there we go, into the Capona of the Tiger 2, because of that huge Capona. So even when you do have 10 degrees of gun depression like you do on this vehicle and you use them it's it's kind of like this huge thing still sticks out which is just awful um, and you do get like everyone shoots you over there everyone shoots you in that capone so it's not like nobody knows about that weak spot but if you do use the gun depression it kind of makes the upper hull uh, better it means you will bounce some shells from the upper hull but the capola will still not absorb anything so don't expect to bounce a lot of shells if the enemy team knows where to shoot you, which is like I said, Capola. And if they do see you frontally, then they can just shoot you in, in the hull anywhere, right? Okay, so 1,900 damage so far in this battle, helping finish off the Tiger 2 and the Shah Emily. The two vehicles that actually died over here were hit by... Um, Stefan, and then get 274 into the side. Aim, 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 and hit. Uh, there we go. So, th the one thing that this vehicle actually has, which is pretty nice, is mobility, right? It has 45 at uh, top speed, which you can upgrade with a turbo if you like. But, I mean, when you go for the marks, you just want all of the damage. There we go, to the side of the Tiger Mouse. Doing some more damage. Look at the Tiger Mouse actually misses. That means you can go after him again. Can I get a shot into the low plate? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I guess you can. I guess you can do that. Um, if you're, if you're Stefan, right, in the Renegade. Up to 3,000 damage already. And the DPM is pretty nice as well. I think it's like 2,100-ish <clears throat> average base DPM. So, with that amount of damage per minute, you can go after a lot of vehicles. There we go, the Shafit to 41 into the turret of that. Tier 9, French. Uh, reward special battle pass <laughs> medium tank is actually a really good vehicle the shot fitter one of my favorites from the battle pass and i do definitely recommend uh, taking that one if you have the tokens if you don't know what to get shot fitter four is always a lovely option there we do seven four ray can we get the two seven four ray unfortunately the shot dips and uh, no not this time not this time but still up to three thousand damage not a bad start to this battle. Catch the lower plate of the SMVCC67. That dangerous tier 8 Italian tank destroyer. Which is... It's, a, it's more of a heavy tank, in my opinion, rather than tank destroyer. Uh, those Italian TDs, right? Are just like heavily armored heavy tanks, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, Stefan going after the Tiger Mouse once again. Can catch the lower plate once more. No, please. <laughs> it's just everything is going in against that tiger mouse. Shuffle to fall before she goes forwards, but they were the T30. Is pushing forth one to the back side of the T30. Critical damage, that means maybe we hit the fuel tanks. At the back, one more might send the vehicle on fire. Just need to hit the back side though. <laughs> and there we go, actually hitting 
the backside of the T-30 setting on fire and finishing them off uh, with 932 damage done very quickly with those two shells. Lovely stuff by Stefan going to the shaft for the misses, luckily putting one in, and the Mark Panzer gets behind us a one shot. The AMBT luckily fishes off the Mark Panzer from behind us, and it's sort of 5,400 damage, but this game is still not close at all. Down by three vehicles, down by HP as well. Mm, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. But what is Stefan going to do here? Can they carry their team to victory? Can they turn this game around? Maybe can start with one into the 750s. Unfortunately, no, it goes through the turret. I'm not through into the turret, it doesn't go through. And the E750s goes through Stefan's vehicle, probably into the Capola. Like I said earlier, very, very weak. As you can see, it did get hit by something earlier. Shuffle to four puts two shells, and unfortunately, luckily, both of them bounce and out of the SMV. But one to the side of this, and it actually doesn't go through. Maybe just went up into the turret of that SMV, trying to find a shell, this time it hits, and as you can see the commander is down, getting hit in that awful, awful commander's hatch, which is like I said, the capote over here, that is where your commander sits, so yeah, you definitely do need a first aid kit if you want to have <laughs> vision in this vehicle, because that commander dies like every two shots, pretty much, pretty much. Oh, there's these RTS, can't shoot him unfortunately. The Batchat is spotted towards the center, putting one into the Batchat down to 230 hit points. Can someone finish off that cheeky tier 8 French light tank? Maybe, maybe it's Steph who's going to do that. Trying to go after the Tiger Mouse instead. Into the side, doesn't go through unfortunately. Grr, this is a close one. This is a close one. It, it does actually look a little better now. Can finish off the SMV. Now the SMV is getting finished off. Finishing off the Type 57 instead. Trying to finish off the Type 57, my goodness. I'm kind of uh, saying stuff before it happens. There we go, now the Type 57 is getting destroyed. Maybe you should go after the Shaft 54 here. Maybe the Shaft might, uh, might be the best. Okay, but the E750 is actually pushing forwards, which is not good. That is not has very nice damage. It is a very nice vehicle. You don't want to die. Oh my goodness, don't let it ram you. It is a Chonky Boy using 227 HP from the Chonky Boy E750 TS. One to the track, getting track damage, and luckily this info doesn't finish you off over here, down to 26 HP, and that means that, as you can see, Adrenaline Rush is now active, means that the reload is going to be better. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's one shot versus one shot. This game is really close. This info is somewhere as well, but luckily the SUPM finishes off the ESM5 TS. Going towards the middle now. Luckily there's no one there to shoot. Stefan, 26 HP, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, and I mean, this low roll by the 75 was enough to keep us alive, and up to 8,900 damage so far, and surprisingly enough, 2,900 damage blocked, which is something you don't see very often uh, with the Renegade because of all of the respawns that the vehicle has. There's the 75, unfortunately, 49 hitch points. Can we get a lovely high roll? Yes, but not enough. Yes, but luckily the SUPM doesn't hit. My goodness, this this game is just constantly. Ah, and you see the little, the little turret shake, the little frustration by uh, Stefan missing that SUPM. I would have actually loved to see an H intuition switch if you have intuition to try and finish off that SUPM with one shell. You know, 440 you can get that slight high roll to get the 500, which oh, you don't get hit by the shaft too much. But finished off the SUPM, but never mind. Never mind, 10-10, up by 2,000 HP. This game is suddenly looking pretty nice. But that char is a very dangerous vehicle. You do need to watch out. You do need to do not get hit by the char fitter for over here. My goodness. What is Stefan going to do? Go after the char? SUPM? E75 maybe? Trying to find that SUPM, I guess, first. Trying to take out the very dangerous tank destroyer that might actually be able to go through the cheeks even of the Renegade with standard rounds. So that's a very, very uh, dangerous vehicle on the enemy team. Can't spot the Shah Fitter for, but it does get spotted. What is going on here? Where's the Shah? Where's the SUPM? We don't know. We do not know. Five minutes left on the battle, but I mean, it's not going to go down to the final seconds, this one. 
not going to go down four vehicles remaining on the enemy team where is that cheeky SUPM where's the E75 trying to go forwards trying to be aggressive and there we go there's the E75 trying to catch the turret maybe no E75 turns and luckily the shell goes into the lower plate finishing off the very dangerous tier 9 German heavy tank my goodness my goodness getting close to that lovely 10k mark is there enough HP left though er, I'm not sure about that I am not sure about that. Where's the Shah? Where's the Batch at? There's the Batch at. There's the ACPM. Can't find the Shah though. Need to finish off the Shah or the Bat. There we go. Batch at first. Into the Batch at 12 doing Getting another kill at 9,400 damage. SCPM trying to push forwards. But there's the Shah for 24 pushing towards the east. Don't want to die. Actually clutching it in the Shah for 24. Getting the fifth kill. Getting 9,455 damage and getting both a cap and a destroy all win so stefan amazing game with the renegade over here getting five kills and 9455 damage maybe some blind shots maybe we've got some blind shots that got us to 10k gonna have to wait and see uh but yeah the renegade as you can see it's it's not supposed to bounce so many shells like my goodness no plate is awful capone is awful but yeah i guess the upper plate when angled when using the gun depression will bounce shells the cheeks will bounce some shells side armor can bounce as well so yeah overall great game by steph and using the renegade exactly like you should right there is a reason they have two marks on their vehicle they know exactly where they want to go what they want to do who to focus and it was just a perfect renegade game over here so gg well played stefan and yeah, let's see exactly how awesome this game was in the post-game stats. There we go, easy ace tanker for the 2430 base experience, and which is crazy. And as you can see, this was the third mark battle for Stefan. So GG, congratulations on getting that third mark of excellence. I mean, definitely deserve with this battle. Getting the Confederate for damaging six vehicles that were later destroyed by the Allies steel wall, which like I said is very surprising. Considering that the Renegade is kind of like not a very heavily armored heavy, it's kind of more like your medium heavy type of area. Um, so getting a steel wall, especially against tier 9 vehicles, is definitely impressive and it's just good use of the um the armor. Now high caliber, of course, with the 9,774. <laughs> just needed one more. <laughs> just needed one more shell over here to reach that magical five figure 10k number uh but i mean 9774 is just crazy amounts of damage for a tier 8 vehicle tank sniper for causing the highest damage in the battle at a distance of at least 300 meters which is definitely not something i would have expected to see with the renegade so it's, it's kind of like very interesting uh results over here but as you can see just doing so much damage so much damage compared to everyone else. And it's a 2430 base experience, which is ridiculous. 37 shots fired, 33 hit, 29 penetrated. Lovely ratio of hits and pens over here. Um, 4,264 damage was from a distance of 300 meters or more. So that is a very nice uh, marksmanship sniping capabilities over here. 11 hits received, 4 penetrated, and 7 didn't. Usually it's, it's it's kind of the opposite, where the Renegade, like I said, definitely not a heavily armoured vehicle, but a lovely armour usage over here by Stefan. 2,110 damage blocked by the armour. One enemy vehicle spotted, 13 vehicles damaged, 5 of them destroyed, 484 damage caused with the player's assistance. And yeah, even when you fire a lot of gold, even when you go with premium consumables, you go with all of that stuff, you still make a chunky amount of credits. If you get, you know, close to 10k with a tier 8 vehicle, <laughs> getting 340,000 credits over here. Absolutely incredible result by Stefan. 5,833 total XP, 549 free XP over here in this 10 minute 27 second battle. Um, so yeah, this was uh, Stefan's third mark battle. Amazing game. GG, congratulations on getting that third mark. And let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the Renegade? Do you think it's too good? Do you think it's balanced as it balanced as is? Do you think maybe it's it needs a bit of love, a bit of a buff? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions of the Renegade in the comments down below. 
And yeah, as usual, you're awesome, stay awesome. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you all in the next video. Tatars, have a good one, people.